Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Alright, let's start making our way towards FH. Put... Let's make a quick stop at Balam to... Uh, take care of some uh, weapon upgrading. And then we'll go from there. Home sweet home, I guess. At least for Zell, anyway, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's make sure nobody, everybody's got counter down. It's probably not entirely necessary. Uh, just to save on editing time, you know. <laughs> All right, let's go. I actually kind of want to check one more thing while I'm here as well, but let's take care of the weapons first. All right, see. So let's take a look at what is here. And then I'll, uh, got lots of weapons here with one more slot at the bottom there. Alright, so, got a couple weapons that Squall might be able to get into. Zell. It's tempting to do that. Oh, I'll think about it. So we're just gonna take a look at what we've got available to us here and then we'll go from there. Alright, and then let's save the Queen. Alright, <laughs> All right, so I'll uh, take a moment to uh, go over, you know, what items I can get uh, without, you know, dipping into re so-called reserves for the uh, ultimate weapons, and I'll be back, uh, well, to go over which weapons I intend to upgrade. Alright, got it all figured out. All right, so first we need to refine some cards. All right, we need a Dino Bone. Actually, no, I'll go into that one last. Uh, I'll go uh, in reverse order. Um, let's go with the Cockatrice Pinion. Well, sort of reverse order, but anyways. Uh, Mesmerized Blade. And a Sharp Spike. That's one weapon out of the way. And I think I will, since I've got the items for it, I think I will go for the air guys. So what do we need? We need, well, we need a Fury Fragment, which is from the Blue Dragon. We need four Dragon Skins, which we have in the inventory. And we need one Adamantine. You might have noticed we haven't picked any up. Well, actually, technically we have. In the Minotaur card, let's refine the Minotaur card into 10 Adamantines. I believe I will not need that card, hopefully. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it's too late now, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, so there's that. Next up is Irvin's weapon that we worked so hard to get for. Alright, so we got the steel pipes in, in stock. Now we need the Dynamo Stones from the Blitzes for them. And we need eight screws. And there we go. Now as far as Squall goes, he has two weapons available to him. The Twin Lance and the Punishment. Um, the Twin Lance is weaker than the Punishment. However, going with the Punishment... I'm actually going to go with the Twin Lance 1, simply because I'm not sure if I've ever gotten that weapon before. If I've ever forged it or not. Um, simply because of the order that they give you the magazines, so that they, the magazines, magazines become available. You know, you get the August before you get the July, so yeah. Um, another thing that caused me to, well, I guess, the, I guess the biggest thing that caused me to decide to go with the Twin Lands instead of the Punishment is the fact that the Punishment requires two Star Fragments, which you get from the Iron Giant cards here. However, these Star Fragments can be used to can be converted into 
aura spells at some point uh, through a series of a, a, either directly or through a series of refinement. Um, so that's why I'm actually going to avoid using the punishment, just because the more auras we get at the very beginning that we have in stock, this, the you know the less amount of time we'll have to use uh, that we will have to use up in order to you know refine or uh, draw them or anything like that or uh, get more of them kind of thing. So yeah, uh, yeah and since it's a three to one, you know, three iron giants gives you one star fragment. I think holding on to as many star fragments as we can is probably a, a, a fairly a fair idea so yeah all right and if you decide to go with the punishment uh for the no all we need is chef's knives we got actually lots of them we don't even refine anything anymore because of the uh, when we were um procuring the tonberry king guardian force so we still got we've got plenty of chef's knives in in inventory uh, so yeah, you need one chef's knife, uh, two star fragments, which you get from the iron giant. So you need a minimum of six iron giant cards. You need a turtle shell, which you can refine uh, three adamantoy from three adamantoys cards. And you would need eight more screws. So probably have to refine a couple more gazer cards here. So to go with the cart, the uh, weapon that I will be going for, I need a dino bone, which is either from uh, Armadodos or a two to one refine from the T-Rex cards. So let's uh, refine two of those into one Dino Bone. Next up is two Red Fangs, which we get from, well, we get one Red Fang from three Hex Dragons. Let's refine six Hex Dragons into two Red Fangs. And we need 12 screws. Which is, well, it brings the, to the total screw count to 20, which is what we are able to um, um, what's going on here? Oh yeah, uh, which we are able to, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> uh, uh, why am I drawing a blank on this word? Oh well, we do, we just need, uh, to refine one more, one more, uh, geezer card, I think. Uh, why do... Did I mess up the math here? I think I might have. Um, <laughs> I might actually have to go with the punishment. So yeah, we've got eight screws there. If I go... See, I, I really do want to hold on to the, uh, the extra. What am I talking about here? Do I even need more? We need 20 screws for the... F yeah, okay, sorry. I was getting my numbers backwards here. All right, so... We need to hold on to five uh, geezer cards, a minimum of five geezer, geezer cards for the remainder of the ultimate weapon. So there we go. Need to refine two geezer cards and get a total of 20 screws. So we've got the five geezer cards. Well, I've got six, but you know me. You know, I, wanna, I like to hold on to that one just for the sake of the collection. And yeah, I think the, the one thing that was throwing me off with the math was the uh, six, but uh, yeah. Um, so there we go. It's taken care of, so let's get ourselves some weapon upgrades. So, there's the Twin Lance. Boom. Zell, the ultimate weapon for him. There we go. For Irvin, get him the Bismarck. There we go. Quistus, don't have anything for the save the queen. Well, we can't get the save the queen because, quite simply, we do not have enough Malboro tentacles and we certainly do not have enough energy crystals. Each energy energy crystal you need 10 Elm Oil cards for. That's for each energy crystal. So, yeah. There's a much more effective way to get them later on. Anyways, uh, which is why I haven't really focused on trying to get those cards. All right, so for Renoa, I decided to, well, Get her something nice and shiny. Hopefully, when she wakes up, get her the cardinal. And for selfie, we don't have any. Uh, well, as mentioned last episode, we don't have any extra infernal fangs, so yeah, we'll pass on that for now. Hopefully, uh, we may get a, a few more uh, ruby dragon cards. How many do I need? Actually, I didn't even bother checking that. Ruby dragon. Where are you? I think it's a level five, yeah. Wow, we need uh, we need like six more. Well, we need six more, but I would like to get seven more to hold on to the one. 
yeah, so uh, 10 Ruby Drain cards gives you uh, one Inferno Fang, so yeah. Alright, so we'll have to worry about that later. In the meantime, I just want to check one thing. Supposedly, there's another item we can get here. You have to go through a... Not an extensive sp series of events, but there... I believe there is a couple of things we need to do. Or at least one thing we need to do. To trigger it. We are looking for the... Uh, big Bad Rascal. Not here. Well, the cure drop one was recharged, but... Oh well. I'm gonna go check uh, Zell's bedroom. And if not, I'm gonna do the uh, same thing I did... Uh, I guess the last time uh, that we were here for... For something, uh, when we uh, got uh, Zell the uh, Combat King three. All right. And no, oh, okay. Apparently, it should be sitting on the bed. It's the first time I've ever attempted to get this item because I honestly, I quite honestly wasn't even aware of its existence until I uh, found out about it. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to, uh, you know, go back and forth to the pier and back kind of thing a few times just to see if it's maybe a, a random encounter type thing. Again, like in the, with the, uh, the guy in the training, sh training center that sells all the items. So, yeah. I'll go back and forth here a few times. I'll probably, you know, just to see if it, uh, you know, if he ends up showing up there or not. And, uh, well, if he does, then, well, I'll leave it in. If it doesn't, well, I'll meet you right back here. All right, I couldn't get it. I went back and forth there, you know, to the pier and back kind of thing. So like two tr screen transitions and then back again. I think I did like five times or so. So yeah, nothing showed. He didn't show up. So yeah. On the bright side, I did decide to uh, draw from that cure drop point on the pier on the uh, at the end of the uh, the gangway there. And I got six more cures. So yeah. But anyways, if you manage to get him to show up there, speak to him, come back to, I believe you just come back to Zell's place, go up to his room, and I believe the item should be sitting on his bed, so, yeah. But, yeah, maybe I'll come back later on in the game and uh, you know, see if we can get it to happen again. But anyways, it's actually a pretty valuable item, a very rare item that you can get in the game as well. It's, there are other ways to get them, but it's extremely... Uh, difficult to get large amounts of them so yeah at a time so yeah all right so that taken care of let's see if we can find our way to Esther. where is it there's
I, mean, I think I remember. Ah, uh, yes. Here's the one that Zell mentioned briefly way back at the end of disc one when we were our original orders to assassinate Soros Vesidia came up when uh, Renoa had that Odin bangle, I think, and Zell said something that Odin brand seems to be like the uh, the number one when it comes to magical goods. Well, if what Zell said was true, I guess I can understand that. Why she might want to meet with him. Was the understanding I had. So where's this idea? It looks so petite. I guess as John Candy would say, Wagons East. Anyways. What? And yes, we officially get to control Idea. Now let's bring Zell. So far he's, well, aside from Irvin, he's the only one that hasn't made fun of us <laughs> with regards to Renoa. Let's go with her. Go with Zell. Let's give Irvin and Quistus a break. So let's switch junctions here. Uh, oh, there we go. Besides, you only really need one mage at a time kind of thing, so. Alright. Before we leave, though, I would like to take care of my junctions. These junctions will be very special. Alright, I'm all done. Something may seem different to you already. Even more so, yes, so. Before, aside from... <laughs> Without going into every, having to read every single name, the only guardian forces that Idea does not have are Siren and Diablos. She has every other one that we have. I also have Move Find equipped on Squall and Mug equipped on Zell, just in case. Um, notice I do not have. Well, let's go and do not have encounter none equipped. There's a very good reason why. Uh, but first, let's go into. I'll, I'll get into the reason why because well, we need to go through the junctions in order to get to that point. So, as far as junctions go, she has all the guardian forces except for Siren and Diablos. She has Regen Junction to her HP, Tornado to Strength, Kuraga to Vitality, Ultima to Magic. Um, if you don't have enough Ultimas to get it this high uh, or higher than what Pain does, then I would recommend. Uh, yeah, let's just check. Uh, so that's 112 with Tornado. I think Pain is still better. Yeah, Pain. So yeah, if you don't have enough for Ult Ultima to get it up this high, or no, higher than Pain, then put Pain there. I put it there just for one very specific reason. Uh, spirit on or Reflect on Spirit, Haste on Speed, and Quake on Hit Percentage. For Elemental Attacks, I put, well, whatever Holies I have onto her attack there. 
add life and shell and her elemental defense. Obviously, she does not have any status attack or defense junctions, simply because she does not have Siren Junction. For abilities, she has draw item magic with HP plus... Oop, forget about this. There we go. <laughs> HP plus 40%, strength plus 40%, and actually, I may actually want to leave that back on. Again, for one very specific reason. This will probably be temporary. He'll probably put strength plus 40% on uh, a little bit later. But uh, I want to demonstrate something first. And it has to do with the fact that Idia has very low HP. <laughs> Relatively. So, yeah. Uh, the HP you, ha you see her at currently with the 11... Uh, 1183 that is her base HP without any junctions at level 26 so yeah um, so just to uh, let you know about that for guardian forces this is where the important part is for Kezakotl uh, learning H uh, GF HP plus 10% uh, right now this is probably the first time in the game where the amount of AP we get coming up is completely dependent on the random number generator <laughs> in other words when random battles occur so choose whichever ability you want to learn i'm well, i'm suggesting gfhp plus 10 percent just so i can finish that off and i'll show you when i switch that off to another ability shiva for having her try to finish learning at doom uh if reach have him learning gfhp plus 30 percent you notice his uh, uh, ability list is almost full, uh, aside from three other abilities there, and plus one other ability that we can't get to yet. But anyways, uh, Siren, she's learning GFHP plus 20%. You notice she's missing one as well. Well, that's part of the reason why I've got all everything junctioned on uh, Idea. Uh, simply because Siren, actually, she's only level 3, and there's actually an ability she has that is only available... When she, once she reaches level 12. So yeah, we're going to be leveling up Idea, sort of like we did with Cypher uh, during the seed exam, but this one definitely has more important applications rather than just getting a high mark on the uh, the seed exam. So yeah, um, not to mention the abilities we learned definitely helped out, but uh, anyways. For Brothers, they're learning a Defend. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that by the time we, uh, by the time we uh, get out of this part. Uh, so yeah, and for Diablos, he's learning GHP plus 20%. I may switch over to Magic plus 40% depending on, uh, well, depending on what happens coming up. Uh, Carbuncle, I have him switched off and he's learning Status Defense Junction. I think that's a him anyway, but anyway, so yeah, that's Status Defense Junction there. Um, status Defense, definitely a, a useful ab a junction to have. Uh, have Leviathan learning Recover. Pandemonial learning Speed plus 20%. Cerberus learning status defense junction as well. Alexander still learning med data. And Tonberry learning familiar. Familiar is definitely, I would say, the second priority. Um, some people might consider it first priority over initiative, but uh, you know, having initiative, having at least one player that can be guaranteed a, a first strike kind of thing in battle um, can be rather useful in some situations, so that's why I went with that one first. So familiar definitely should be uh, near the top of your list to learn which i have there so there we go all right so let's go Oop. oh i thought it <laughs> ran into something i did the end of the screen all oh, right well well there's a train tr uh They weren't kidding when they said there wasn't anything here. Well, they said nothing north or south, so they said to go east. So I guess we better figure out what this place is.
<laughs> oh, selfie. And there we go. Let's go. You guys say anything? No? Alright, let's go. Alright, there's actually two paths we can take here. The obvious one, straight ahead, which is along the path that we're on. Or, we can go up here. The not-so-obvious path. And our first random battle. A visage is the is the face, and they got lefty and righty there. Guess which one's which. All right, so visage. <laughs> well, quite simply, we're gonna be uh, dropping this up the squall again. They will probably do the best job of that. Probably could have pulled the trigger, but so. Now, since we do have control of Idea, we do have access to her limit break. That's why I've got her magic boosted up as high as I can get it, and why she's in critical. So let's uh, see what happens. Ice strike. You might remember this attack. Yeah. Anyways, so that was fun. Let's do it again. Since I probably will be healing a day up after this, since she is going to be going through here solo. Yeah. Yeah, let's just do this. How does she do with her physical attack? 460. Switch uh, Ultima over to her strength. Still didn't do it. All right. We're getting close. Twelve AP from that battle. Yeah, we're getting a lot of AP. How many levels did they gain? So, Seven was at level three. She's now at level five. And the reason why I've got Diablo's Junction as well is simply because I think I might have mentioned earlier that if I didn't, I apologize. But his, the damage he does with his summon is based on his level. Uh, each level he goes up. Every time his level goes up by one, his damage goes up by one percent of you know the enemy's HP. So, you know, whatever level Diablos lands ends up at, that's how much damage his attack will do. So, we want to actually heal up every heal up uh, Hidea here. So let's uh, let's do the Cura. How much does she heal with this? Boo. Top it up. There. there we go. All right, let's switch over to a more conventional junction here. Uh, do I want initiative? Yeah, I think I will. Probably won't need to... Uh, actually, do I... Do I want to boost up the strength even more? What's her luck like? Nah, not worth it. Alright. Let's see what happens when you put Ultima here. Having a little fun this episode. <laughs> there we go. The reason I got Holy here is simply because the Visage and the Lefty and Raider are weak to it, and I think they're actually the, 
the only random enemy, random encounters you fight in this place. So yeah. All right. I actually don't. I actually have tornado available to me now, don't I? All right. Let's put it on Quake. Put, replace Quake with it. Sweet. All right. A few abilities we got to take care of. All right. So Kazakuto, what do I want to put him on? Um. Let's yeah. Let's. Let's do this. I was thinking about doing mid refine, but I can't think of any spells that we'd actually need that for. So, yeah. It's kind of getting left off in the dark. Alright, so Doom would probably be the next one that is learned. And I think, wasn't Kizakuro the only one that learned anything? Yeah, it looks like. Alright, we're good to go. But yeah, so, ooh, what's this? Meteor! Finally, we get some Meteor. Five of them. Eh, not bad. Could have been worse. Could have been better. But anyways, any cross here. And Shiva just learned Doom. That was just a, the visage, the uh, face itself. Doesn't always show up the left with the uh, lefty and righty, so yeah. Alrighty, uh, Shiva. Who, what do we want to have her learn next? I guess we may as well... We could go into that, but it's not really necessary. So, yeah, let's just boost up her, her attack, her uh, summon magic a bit more. Uh, anybody else are expecting any? St I think it looks like brothers might be next. Yeah, it looks like brothers will probably be next. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, another drop bomb. What's this? Thundaga. Oh, well. Yeah, the meteor drop point is probably the most important reason why you want to come up here as opposed to staying down there and now I think this is the point at which uh, we meet the uh, paths cross so and I don't think there's any draw points on the lower path so yeah yep. seriously uh, it's over here cliff that keeps going. Alright, what's on the other side? Where's the end of this place? How far does this place reach? I guess we'll have to find out next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. I just want to check. Sorry, 6. Alright.